What's what's going on, everybody? It's your boy. It's me, it's the truck star. And welcome back to another dance hall video tutorial. Now, whatever. I've been already like my set of tiger set with some all VST still, you know what I mean? Some, we're well, not even gonna say all VST. I just some VST, I'm gonna really put no light on you understand. We're not really use them, so they're not really shine, you know what I mean? I say so. We just all go through some of them and find some things and you know just try craft something out of them try you know make something out of them and see what can go on and a good midi folder so for that we don't go program i mean producer drum kit we don't go into my singularity i believe it's singularity I'm going to turn off this. I'm going to turn on this thing. Yeah. Get rid of some of the background noise. Magic, ain't it? <laughs> Bumbo clot. All right, so, yeah, man, I'll go and use the singularity. I'm going to look for a thing named Tropical House Converts, right? So, it's a follow one now. If you watch my video more, I'll see some of you use it more while. So, I'm going to look for that. Tropical House Converts, TRTR. -TR. Right, yeah, so. So we have guitar house, tropical house tools. We are just a look for some MIDI, right? Um, so we have the MIDI loop. So just find a loop. Perfect. So we have melody loop A1 underscore five. So melody loop A1 underscore five. So I'll drop that here. So. With our exp, um, all tracks, with our realign events and blend existing data, we'll left that turn off. Import zero velocity notes. Yep, I'll we'll press accept. So now we have a melody. So just we set with tempo. I think the tempo are probably about a hundred. So I'll stretch this out to eight bars. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Matter of fact, I'll just stretch it to eight and low it here. So. You know what I mean? Typical melody. You hear it all the while in the dance hall. It's a melody on my ear plenty of times. So I just find a different sound as a foundation. All right, what we probably can do is go up and active. It seems as if it's deep. Or if it's a deep sound, so we'll drop it up and active. Or that say high music. Or that I go on. Which compressor, bad bro? Dreamx, so I go on. <laughs> so what that? Um, this one I use as a Dreamx is a um a VST from Arturia. The name DX7 is a old synthesizer. Wa, wa Steely and Cleavy them used to um fuck around with you know what I mean, but. May use it, um, the VST version. Right? It it have some good sound. Like I said, I use stuff I'm not typically use. So I'll go through. Um, and then the brother asks me which compressor man I use. Um, I don't really have no compressor for my voice, you know, bro, if you tell you the truth. I have, I'll pull up the instrument them so you can see it. I have this DSR. Um, they get rid of some of the SR. You know, they, you know, you know what DSR is already. This is thing I write that so I'm used to get rid of the noise is um a d nice it's not really a compressor bro so once we turn it off if you listen to the background you can hear all of that nice you know what i mean so when we turn it on it clean up the background you know and i mean and then me i use this uh harmonic machine here so if you bring back some of the character to my voice so like if me never have this turn on my voice would not sound really like worthless and, and deep because the 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 the, the, the RX D nice are suck out all of that out of my voice because it a clean up the signal. So once I turn this on, I add back like a sparkle to my voice or whatever. New to our one, brother. I saw oh, so fuck them strings, all right? Let's go for your key and go through them there. All 
All right, so I can do for kind of like the final song, I'm like, I always mess around with the envelope. So it's can go out. I mean, so I can play around with the song. like that um only thing we need to do is just get rid of the the delay uh, for the signal i don't really like the delay upon the signal so be it that it have delay we just got the effect section and really we can either turn it down or completely turn it off but also why it sound like with it off and then if it sound a little bit better with it on more just turn it on and turn down the level and it don't sound better with it on so we don't allow that so that's cool um we have a main melody. One more one though is Bill Panda, right? So let's go CS80. This is another plugin from Arturia. Oh, yeah, man. The arm you say is the bat free. Which bat? One in bat, brother. Let me know. All right, so let's go. All right, the one I'm going to keep it big because as I can see, the knobs them kind of small. So if I small it up and make it like 60, 70%, it don't hard for really manipulate the sound. So I left this at a 100% window. Um, I have a specific preset in there, so I'm going to use. It's a lead named Boots and Keys or something like that. Um, and it's like the sine wave type of thing, right? So I need to go into the piano roll for this. Need to figure out the key. So this uh, right now it has say we're in a C major. So if we are in a C major, and the easy way to tell is C major all are the white key them. So if we're in a C major, right? If I copy the melody, uh, so let's all go to a copy the melody. If I paste it in here, so and take all of them key uh, and go all the way back like that. With all of the different cards them. Or just the cards them we use or anything like that. If we bring them all back, like if we stretch them back or whatever, you notice that we only are like the white key them. So what I can do is just copy, PS, go up and active and shift and come over, right? And then copy, PS, go down to active and then shift and come over. So now what we can do with all of this is do the same thing again. So I'll copy it. We'll bring it from F3 all the way up to F4. When I come across anything when in a the current scale, don't get filling. You know what I say? So as I can see, all the way I hit, I just peer white key. So we in a um C major, right? So what I'm gonna do is just cut all of them here, come up at the top, get the C major thing right there. So we'll click on C. Damn, wrong thing. And if you get the scale, C major scale, delete that. So I'll click on C. So now when we drag up. To the next C, we're supposed to cover every note what they play, right? So everything cover here. So, so now when we drag cross everything, everything's supposed to cover. If it not cover everything, then I know C major at the scale. Cool. Everything get covered up. So when we say C major at the scale, so now we can go back to my lead and then use that and build my lead. You know what I mean? So it's a really nice sound. Some more something like quick like every couple of bar I don't want nothing I just sustain a long I don't want that right now anyway so I just want some quick things um, so something like that So I'll take that. What I'm gonna do is come across a little bit with this door. 
Um, so in between now, we'll just switch this to quarter note and we'll just start to add some, some slides to them note, all right? So we'll just come here, add one, drag all the way back and drag one forward. So as the, the main melody I play, you probably can't hear it. So this is what I do. Listen to the glide. If I go up higher, you know what I mean? So we are, we are glide it, you know what I mean? So let's put back the two notes. So we'll glide that first part. We'll glide this one right as the same way. And it won't work if you put the glide before. So I mean, it put it before and play the whole note wouldn't really, really work. It would have sound weird. You have to glide the note because remember your work, you give the impression you have the same length and note. You just play two notes, you play one really fast. So we'll do one right as so again. Sometimes it can work if you glide down, but you typically want to glide when I go up. Mary, go on, go on, brother. So right here, so we don't do it again. We don't glide. This go all the way up. So we get like a tumbling effect, like it just a two, no, 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 something like that. You know what I mean? And we don't put one right here. So if we complete it, um, there's something that sound empty right here. So. All right, so we don't glide this. Let's see if we can do a double. Let's, so let's see what this would sound like if we go up and come down really quick. All right, let's see. Nope, don't sound good. So we'll just load that. We do go up an active, bring back the main melody. Let's play this back from start. All right, so let's go from start. All right, I like it low. So as this and what I play, what I'm going to do is bring back one, come across the front. So we have D6 right, that's all right. So we don't play all the way down to C6. I listen to the difference. You know what I mean? So instead I would just love ten and -na -na -na, we have like our continuation on the first note. Even though you don't really hear it when it originally start. So like I'm gonna play it now, you're not gonna really hear say it, did it? You know what I mean? But when you come back down from the slide to you follow the notes, you get the impression of another note playing. So it seems as if it's just a continuation. It's just a some ear candy, you understand? So that's it. Me and Melody, little bit of a lead. Um Let's um, add some percussion. What I'm going to do is get a percussion loop. Um, have a pack somewhere close by. While jungle percussion would all go. What a tempo? 100. So we're going to 100. Let's play these. I'm an NMG, bring up yourself, bro. I got some tropical vibes. Um, I like tropical music, dog. All right, so let's see. What am I gonna do for this, right? I'm gonna show you a really, really neat trick, right? So, because this is a sample, it now really take up no CPU power, you understand? So we can use more, right? So the tempo is 100 already. So we don't really need to time stretch it or nothing like that. But there is one problem I'm going to have with this sound. If you listen to it, you have one part that will play upon the left more and another part will play upon the right more, you know what I mean? So an easy way to go about that is, what we do do is delete the second one. We're going to play this. We do drag in a piece of this all the way to the halfway mark, right? So right up to here, so. Then what I'm gonna do is clone it. You know that's no wait before me even clone it, but I'll play with the envelope. Meaning we do make this look like a rectangle. You understand? So I'll do that, that, and that. So now if I press the key, 
it only play for a short while if I hold on pan it. You know what I mean? So when it play, I know it only play for the length of this. So what I'm gonna do is copy the the, the note here, clone this. So I'm gonna have to go through all of that and do the envelope again. And we'll play from the the other one end without we'll start the other one. And what I'm gonna do is on the second one, I'm gonna flip it. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna where you go? Reverse polarity. No, swap stereo. So I don't make what play upon the right, play upon the left, and now upon the second one. So like I say, you have a part of the sound or play more upon the left. If you listen to it by itself, you will hear it. Like you hear the Congo upon the right hand side. But upon the second one, you don't hear everything upon the right, upon the left. So just a flip it. You know what I mean? I say, instead of really going in and doing all kind of other fuckery. And then for drums, this time around, I'm not going to use my drum kit. I want something more traditional dance hall. So I'm going to use the stock drums or come in the FL studio. I got drums or got real drum kit. I want to find some kick. So we have one here. So I need something with some, with some punch. Sneers them I come from FL Studio too, you know what I mean? So I'll make them work. It's fine. Need something like that. Just need some things with some punch to So if we lay out the tree kick, then we have this. Alright, cool. So let's put the snare first. Copy that. PS, 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 PS. Second snare, don't add some in between. No, we need to kind of start stuck the melody. So for that, we will go. What's another VST I'm going to use now? While hmm. Dune, 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 Synapse Audio. Hey, just while I go on. Um, so we need to find a pluck or lead or synth or some fucking thing. So dance hall mastermind plucks. Let's turn this down. And this might take a while. Too big too much nice all right so like with this nah like this but we need more release on it perfect seem as if it'd be a good deep sound all right let's see what that sound like with everything Nope, let's go back up high. All right, and I need a like a really bright sneer. Really, really bright snare. 
Let's pierce this again. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna add an app underneath that. So let's find another VST I'm gonna use now. Well, um, nope, nope, nope. Nope. Relic. Hmm. I think Relic have some good sound in that, but nah, fuck with it. Trap God. Inspire me. Uh, Trap God. Alright. Let's go back here. So. No. I don't want the bass. Uh, we need a plug. Wait, no. Ah, oh, my God. Fucking idiot. Up. All right. All right. So it's seeing as if this thing. I forget some of the pan different set of headphones, so let me I'll switch my headphone and turn on the volume because this thing seems as if it's loud as fuck. It's one of the things on my eight body, the DT770 to them. I'm so fucking good that more while I will just get out of control with what you fucking do. Alright, so let's solo out, let's go back. Feel like me can do better than a couple of them kicks or some of delete them. I want the realism still, so I'm going to keep that one. Uh, I'll find a jerk drum kit. Typically, in drum kits, they always have some things that we can use when I look for a certain type of sound. So, OVO, 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 let me know. OVO sound radio kick. Like something with a real punch to it, you understand? So we'll use this, uh, this PC in them, uh, with the two of them, we have this. Uh. I mean, just like a nice punch to it. Cool. Let's put the snares them back. Right, so let's see what this app sound like if we stretch out the cards then. Stretch out uh demo art L. Alright, lower. Right, I like it either way, it doesn't really matter. Oh shit, copy the wrong fucking pattern. <laughs> Put the snare on his drum. Make up yourself for a magazine. Alright, so I do the same thing like I already So I got one, two, No, so one, two, one, two. Then we'll just copy the pattern or keep it exactly the same. No chops, no funds in this studio, just simple like that. A 
and then more my lord in for the fucking vst name brainstormer i look for your app if we can find it to be honest a long time and i use a vst there um brainstormer who make it a beat street no brainstormer brainstormer god damn Long time they use that thing in the dark. Fuck. Oh boy. Now I really beat up myself. Let me find it eventually. I just don't know which part it right now. Okay, I go to him and I use it. The name Brainstorm I do. Just don't know who the fuck make it. Sad, sad day in the music. Westcraft, mm, mm, mm. GT Audio, Big Works, Sunrise, One Trap, Deep Street, Bang Bang Production. Fuck my life, God Almighty. All right, this is cool. I'll go with Tenetan. I'll go with. Hmm. No, I used them recently. So, go back to Anna. <laughs> yeah, man, you would come. He's an experiment man in a brother, so. Even if you see me do this into the brother, the next time I see me do it, I might do it the same exact thing, but completely different. You understand? Sorry. So I got you, Anna. And Anna really is a uh, VST you are good for, for plucks. I like it for plucks. I never really use it for apps. It's been a while. So I'll try to find an app or fit one. I'm sitting gritty, sitting grungy with a lot of moving parts to it. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to we'll copy this plug thing right there. So I'm going to paste it in here so in a conjunction with the app. So we'll see if it trigger anything different or get a different sound. Perfect. This is exactly what I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to do, get rid of all of them notes. I'm going to just add and see if that make a difference. And then, because I, the sound what I want and what I wanted to do, what I'm going to do is put it on, I put it on um, like track 7, track 8, track 9, something like that, some weird. Um, and I'm going to use this and push it out on the edge when I want it in the middle. That's why I made that unfair specific sound. So I'll go right click delay and then listen to the sound now. You understand? As opposed to it being done in the middle. What a wider sound out that. No, we get a VST a couple of years ago. What well, I really like. Uh, what we did a hunt for and just dropping on my lap. So what I'm going to do is go back in Anna. But the pass a sound, what I like, is like a pluck, like a pad type of sound. So what I'm going to do is pull it back up and reverse it and see what it sounds like in the track. Alright, this is not it, but I'm gonna put the reverse on it right now, just for VST CX. So let's put on um it's called initial audio reverse. Our preset I'm gonna make other day, yeah. Wash feed. The signal I get effect immediately. It's VST right now, the pan sale for nine dollar, um, ten dollar, nine ninety nine. Well, well worth it. I know them soon crack it, so I'll get the crack version anyway, but we just buy it because. 
All right, so pretty much, if I turn this up to 100, this is how I do. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I create a preset of um, that signal. I have it set to 50% wet, 50% dry. So I hear the, the regular sound and I hear the reverse sound. And it gives this weird back and forth effect. Now, this is not the sound I'm going to look for. So we'll still keep on searching. And once we find it, more turn this back on. So what I'm gonna do is get all of the bass out of this. I mean, like a, all of the fucking bass, everything. I go up to a probably like 500, almost 600. Just go master, master filter, just run up and scroll all the way up to like five, six hundred. So. So let's go back to eight. Scroll down back to fifty percent. Let's take out some on the top end, pad it. Bring back some on the bottom. All right, there's something off. Something is very, very off. I don't know why, but this card, for some reason. They can hear it. Like, I don't know why that don't make no fucking sense because everything else I play same fucking note so no uh, rather than medicine and give me a headache so I can't let reset this bum my cloud no time feet yeah so bs or use nexus it's just fucking right if you use nexus um so refx nexus yeah brother boy see the thing with bot mass bro and May they get it to you know dog. You see it right so the thing with bot mass is brother. The man who make the VST dog and it's like it, it, it not really do it the way how it's supposed to, you know what I mean? It, it's bot mass, I don't know. It it's it weird to me, dog. I did I test it out, brother. So come in you know, up by that thing there, bro. Bot mask or suck it, mother too, because that's sitting there, brother. I don't know why they make it so brother. It's crazy. Yeah, I me see how that people work it, you know what I mean? But for me, you know what, dog? So I'm just tell it for go fuck off, yeah, man. Uh, so BS line, um, notes already laid out. Remember, the notes always are going to be the lowest notes in the melody. So we are look on A4, F4, G4, C4. You know what I mean? Typically, you can count your BS line. You know what I mean? I say, why I'm going to say that is because you have the first bar, second, third, fourth. You know what I mean? Which I kind of um, fuck up and make the damn thing a little bit um, too, what would I say? Make it too long. So let's drag this back, come back. That good. All right, so Alt and L. And we have it. So we don't start high and then you're done with it. We'll drop it down a couple active. So for the bass, I want it start and stop. I don't really want it solid like that as it is right now so we'll go a quarter note and we'll bring this forward twice and go back to line then we'll have that 
You know what I mean? So we have like a start and stop type of thing. So if I want to drag this across and come here, so... You know what I mean? But I want it a little bit sharper than that. You know what I mean? Fast. So what I'm going to do is like that. We'll give the bass like a melody. So let's swallow out first melody. Bass line. Um, the pluck you saw and a couple of the kicks and the snare. Drop this down one. Let's go up some more. All right, let's drop it down another two. I would have pretty much do the same thing. We'll copy this across. Delete the one here. So bring this down. Yeah, so. Then drop it on active. When we lay out the track, we do a second variation on the bass line because I don't want it to sound too repetitive. So F4, I know I'm not going to really work for that bass. Yeah. Too high. C. I mean, not C, but all of the trees, them really good with the bass line. Yeah. That's really where you start getting the body. So next, just have built in effects. So what I'm going to do is add some distortion to this to kind of fatten it up a little bit. So I got effects, so I'll turn on the first one, change it from ensemble to distortion. But I'll make the wet all the way to zero first. Then we'll reset the dry signal. So till we have back the regular signal that we just did have. Then we don't blend the wet signal in with it. I mean, that's how the distortion I hear now. Then we can play with this frequency on this start. You know what I mean? So we can really get crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? So we'll go up to about 60. Cause when I really want to hear the distortion, I really want some body. When I really want the the sound, I want the body. You know what I mean? Then we'll turn this down, play back with everything now. And of course, you can turn down some of them sound and them too fucking loud. To cut this. I mean, I'm not trying to remember, I did have a rhythm, I did have a chant, you know, they used to say, let's go, recent rhythm, I can't remember the fucking name, so, we're going to a different pack. Money machine. All right, so the thing with this money machine thing, right, is one right way to do it. No, a money machine is not a fucking musical instrument. In this case, I, mean, I use it as one. So a lot of people just throw it in at them rhythm and it sound off and it sound weird, you understand? 
I show you how you get the thing correct and how the thing supposed to be fucking used. A lot of people just ignorant and don't really want to spend time and do them thing. You know what I mean? I say, so if you're not FL Studio or any DAW, you have an editor in your DAW, right? So what I do is whenever you use an like effect like the money machine where it have two separate sounds, so you have the money machine itself and then you have the beep. If we just play it in a rhythm, it sound weird because it's not tuned, it's not in time or nothing like that. So what I'm going to do is right click on it and go edit it. it, it. Do you understand? So what I'm going to do first, we don't get rid of the money machine, the beep out tight. So we'll cut out that, we don't drag back that the signal uh, back to the over here. So now we come back to um, Edison, we can we'll do edit. So we'll do fucking control and Z. Boom. So because we're in the FL Studio, we still have the part where we cut out highlighted. So what I'm going to do this time is press control and delete. And then we'll have the beep by itself. Drag it on to the fucking, to the channel. We have the beep and the money machine separate. You understand? Make sure so you have them pan cut itself. Just like that. So what I'm going to know is we can trigger the money machine anywhere. You know what I'm saying? But we can trigger the beep anywhere else. You know what I mean? And that just makes the thing work a lot better because now you can put it in time or in tune how it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? I say, so, I don't want it to play at the front, I want it to play at the end right before it loops. So, what I do, do go into the piano roll, listen to the rhythm, and figure out more and put it. Cool. What I can do, put it at the front. But if we do that, it don't play at the front before we even hear the machine. So, that means it timing off. Or maybe you like it like that. You know what I mean? I don't like it like that. So I'm going to put it upon a half beat, right? Meaning. So the key, the beep, don't land upon an even, upon the grid. You understand what I'm saying? So for that, we're going to the piano roll and we're going to put the beep at the last one, right? Or so the fourth one, sorry about that. I'm going to do also, I'm going to quantize that. We're going to the envelope and we're going to make sure so when time that done, the beep done. We don't want it carry over none at all. You know what I mean? So just I'll play with the envelope. For do that. So like I said earlier, if I touch the key, you get that. If I hold on upon the key, you get that. You understand? Volume wise it low, cool, it's not a problem. Can always boost that we can fucking um what the fucking thing are there? I'm gonna try. Hold on. Well, let me say, volume wise, lows, we can just, um, yeah, so we can normalize it, make it really loud. You know what I mean? But we're not really necessary to do that because we hear it anyway, and we can do that when we mix it, so fuck that for right now. So I'm going to just put the money machine to about 47, 50 percent, and put the, the beep to about like 70 percent, something like that, 60 something. I was still, I hear it, you understand? Turn on the hi hats, it seems a little bit loud, it's like overpowering. And a trick with hi hats is the lower you have them sometimes, the more dominant them be because your ears pick up them high frequency they're really, really, really fast. You understand? So you don't really have to have your hi hat up front and center and just the beat down the blood clot door. You understand it lower right now, but we still have pick it up, so it's not a problem, right? Now the already remember don't keep it simple and I'm gonna drown it out with too much things in it. So we're kind of almost done with it. Let's bring back this lead. Let's see if we don't keep it. All right. So what I'm going to do is we don't take out the whole of the first part. Cut. We don't keep the last part because it serves as a good transition, right? So like if we solo out that and play the rhythm. All right, let's go back to a little bit. And then let's, if we play it and then solo it out, you see my, it's a good transition. You understand? You know what I mean? So we don't keep the second part of that. What we don't do is more at a square lead. You have this weird VST. Um, once again, just need to find it. Plug chip um chip sound. So this VST have some. It's basically a VST what just you know produce nothing but chip sounds and just like. Yo, we hear it once we do it. Um, so let's go reverb. I'm load up what is quickly becoming my favorite reverb, the RC48 from Native Instruments. 
Governor Ranford, Brian Wagwan. Cool. So, let me say. That's all I get from this VST. You understand? Just sounds like that. I put it on track four. I put first uh, either chorus or flans or probably both. If you smooth out the sound, you understand? So, um, without the chorus or without the flanger, and then with the flanger. I mean, so it's a much smoother sound. So what I'm going to do is go in and so paste the pattern I did cut earlier. Um, turn it down, of course, and drone it. I um, said so drone it, I mean drone it with the reverb at least 50%. Let's turn this down. Now, if we get even more creative with the sound, right? Let's change the flanger. Let's put the mix to 100%. Then let's add to the signal itself without add a delay upon the plugin itself. I mean, upon the, the channel itself, not just some delay off it. You know, I mean, want it to affect the direct signal. Echo boy. All right, so this delay here is kind of a, uh, <laughs> now I'm going to say a tricky one because it looks simple. You know what I mean? I mean, I think I'm going to say it looks simple because it looks complicated, but it's not. It's a really, really easy delay until you click tweak and click style. You understand? Them time there when it start get complicated because this thing goes so fucking deep. It's ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the mix upon this to... 35% because we want the delay signal for kind of prominent away. So why the fuck? All right, yeah, let's put the mix to 35%. Flat 35%. We don't want no add number, not like that. Come on, fucking mouse. 35, cool. Delay, if you listen to it, I know. You know I mean? It's a quick delay. We don't want that. We want a ping pong delay. So I want it offbeat, um, if you can find ping pong. Um, where is this thing? Um, feedback, minimum, ping pong, ping pong. All right, that's so. all. Listen to it. You understand? So what we do do is low cut. We do left high, we do low cut almost everything. But we're not going to make the feedback as much. So yeah, the feedback is right now, they are like mini, like it's minimum, so really not even a feedback that much. So what we do do is we do increase the delay upon one side to half note and then lift the other side at a quarter note or eight note. Then we'll turn on the mix now once you get the delay set. And then there is a section and then you tweak where it's a width. So now we don't really push it all the way out to the, to the left and right a lot. Play. You understand? We also can add like saturation to the delay. So this like is one big plugin with a bunch of different modes. You understand? So can add a really, uh, this thing goes so deep that it's like it's not even worth getting into because that's a, a video in itself. So I'll go style edit and we do select analog delay. Actually, we do go tube tape. If we listen to it now. You know what I mean? It's not as clear, it's more of a saturated, you know what I mean? Like a, a dirty delay, we do call it. You know what I mean? So we do turn down the mix, with, um, the mix knob to about 10 percent so we still get the delay signal but just not as much of it and like me say we'll increase the reverb because i want the sound as big as possible perfect everything together we'll just adjust the volume to a level what we like back from the top
And then there's one more thing I want to add before we bring it to the mix. I forget ready to mix it. Um, and that is a chant from... Not that. It's from my drum kit. So let's go. DD. Triple D one or two one out of the two. And it's this weird like OVO chant. I'm here like a lot of Right that's so. No, I know that no wrong thing. Right that's so. Exact one. So let's go. Piano roll. And we don't make it play right at the end. Let's quantize that. Turn on the volume. And then color code everything, drag them in a mixer. Now, if you can hear it, you notice me, I use it as a, a like an atmospheric sound. You not really hear the chant, but it seem, it seem as if there's a lot of reverb on it. Like I hear, but I hear like an ambient version. Of it. That's in, that's um, intentional. And I mean, as you can see, the volume is very low. I could have it loud and in your face, but it's not necessary. And I mean, it's a pretty simple track, so you might as well keep it. Pretty fucking simple. There's no need for overcomplicate shit. And me as a man who like overcomplicate every fucking thing. So you know what I mean? That's hard for me though. <laughs> so let's color code all of them here. I just find um really want to get them some random color but to just gradient them. Go from sky blue to look a bit uh bluish purple. Cool. Let's select everything. Now this is a tricky part because we have to figure out how to line up the things that more already have effects upon them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So the thirteen track is supposed to be a track thirteen, and wherever. So one, two, three. So track thirteen and track sixteen. So that they have three between it. So when I line up everything on the mixer, the one them will have effects supposed to drop right which part them supposed to drop. So let's go. Control Shift L. And then Anna and the chip sounds perfect. <laughs> All right, so. Well, book lot. All right. No, you can hear the chant, but that's only because the channel never get turned on. So sorry about that. Let's copy value, PS value. Perfect. So let's start mixing. Let's turn off everything else. Load this on now. Actually, let's bring up all of the volume them out on now. Sorry about that. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> This song, main melody, right? So, I want to keep that central. You understand? I want to keep that the focal point. You know, matter of fact, what I do, do something what I do the other day. I do mix from mixing a reverse. Typically, when I mix everything before, like when I mix all of my melodies and all of them things before, you know, this case, I'm going to do, do it the other way around. So, what I'm going to do is load up a mastering chain and bring that in a FL. So, this might take 
three seconds. So we do find that chain. Let's stop. Let's bring in. What the fuck is the name of this thing? Um, my God, all access rhythm. Um, my pro project bones all access mixer, and then look for the master chain and drag it in. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna use master this rhythm before me even get to that. All right, so you can hear some of my voice get a lot, lot louder. That is because all of the plugins them from my master bus. So I do drag them in slowly because them them up on another screen. So drag them across very, very slow. So that is my EQ. We have my master. The bus compressor, tape machine, limiter, and right behind the limiter we have another limiter. Jonathan, easy mats man, do the door. Then underneath that we have we metering plugin. So this hour we don't use while we are mix and we don't get the exact reason why. You know what I mean? While we are mix, so let's detach all of them now so we can come down. Uh, so the reason I'm have the meter is I'm say I'll pretty much in all of my video them. When me I mix, I like keep me, me mix to a certain volume before me reach for my master bus. So right now, even though this is my vice, I wouldn't want to go to my master bus at minus four. That's too much for me. I understand more left a little bit of room so I can do some extra compression, some extra boosting, and all of them things there. You know what I mean? Pond the master bus more I left some room so I can do all of that. Like I said, I don't walk you through the entire process. This is not that big of a rhythm, so it's not going to be a, a big, long process to mix this one. You understand? So we can hide all of them plugins there for right now. We just don't leave the meter up because we don't watch that as we go along. You know what I mean? So everything else we don't get off of the screen so them don't present no type of distraction. We just don't mix. You understand? The Yard Vibes drum kit still a come. Supposed to come in at January, but it look like February. Still a come. Um, so let's bring back up the meter. Cool. And like I said, we don't mix from for in a reverse. So we don't mix the drums first and then mix the the, the instruments fit, fit around the drums. So let me get my drums up to volume. Let's go F6 back pan there. So and let's solo out the drums. And let's get the drums them sounding real good, real punchy. I uh, explain exactly how we achieve the sound, right? All right. So, like I said, I want a traditional type of sound to, to the drums. You know what I mean? So, what I'm going to do, let's route both of them drums here to this drums bus over here. So, right click route to this track only. So, I want a traditional sound out of the drums them. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run them through two pull tech, right? So, the first one, they'll get a different treatment than the second one. So for the first one, what I'm gonna do is run it through the EQP1A mono. And what I'm gonna do, take down these settings if you want. 4.5 for the boost, six for the attenuation. For the top end boost, we'll just start at 11 fully at 16K and bandwidth without a 4.3. Cool. So with that, we're supposed to hear like a massive punch out of the kick, right? So let's listen to that kick by itself. Shouldn't they hear no fucking melody? All right. So if we turn off all our, or turn off the plugin, nothing, right? So let's go up seven. Let's put this at 60. So now you start to hear like a bigger body around the kick. If I turn it off. You know what I mean? It sounds flimsy and whatless. That's the type of sound I want. And then because we boost so much at the top end, you hear like a different kick completely. So this is without all of the EQ in. 
that are with the EQ in. And I mean, that's just EQ in, you understand? So, that's our data though. Let's boost back everything on the top end like me. So I want the top end from this. So though match the boost with seven pound the attenuation for kind of calm it down a little bit. Probably can go a little hard about eight. Perfect. So with the second kick, let's flip the fears and see. You notice so once we flip the fears, I start here like this half beating. That's just to say it was aligned all the time. Don't flip the fears if it's unnecessary. So we're pretty much up, um, treat this second this second kick the same way. But we don't introduce one extra step. We don't introduce an EQ before the EQ. Then we don't go waves again. Good old Pultec EQP1A. So we don't put this on and need this guy. We don't want the FL EQ come and fuck up the thing. Pretty much the same settings. We don't go 4.5 upon the boost, 6 upon the attenuation. We don't push this. We left this at 100. We push the bandwidth this time to 6. We don't push the boost all the way up and the attenuation all the way up again. Then we don't dial back the attenuation upon this by 1. Not minus 10. 10, motherfucker. All right, cool. Then push this to 12 instead of 16. So this um, kick by itself. Cool. It's not wrong with it. You know what I mean? I like the kick. Love the kick, actually. Let's EQ it again. So kick EQ. Get rid of all of the brightness. You know what I mean? Totally different kick now. Without, I mean, bright and sound like I said, they know our room. With the EQ in. You know what I mean? With the two kick now. You know what I mean? Before all of the EQ in. Just too flimsy, like a worthless kick. You know what I mean? I well, not worthless. It's, like it's a good starting point. Sometimes I just have to get, squeeze it, forget the most out of it. So that's exactly what I do. So let's bring them. You know what I mean? I'm mean, not done with them yet, still. So we'll create another bus right So we'll do kick drums. Slammed with a right click or change the color to something, you know. What I mean, what we want to have already, so let's go with a red color and um, put that there. So, upon this, I know what I'm going to put is the waves SSL compressor, the mono version, of course. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to send the drum bus to this in a parallel and we'll blend the signal, right? So if we send all of the kicks them to the drums and then the drums to that, so we have two separate kick signal right now. So we're supposed to have a really, really loud signal if we play it. You understand? Not really a good signal. You understand what I say? So what we do do is on the drums channel right there, so we do crush it. And when we say crush it, we mean we do, then we pull up the wrong thing. So let's pull up the SSL EQ. Sorry about that. I mean compressor. Um, so we don't crush it to I'll compress it probably by like 10 dB or something heavy. And I want some 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 heavy compression or go on it right now. We don't crush the signal. And um what that do do by we crushing the signal is we don't blend back the signal with it. So we get an even thicker signal without using the, the direct signal. Cause we already have a signal we like, you know what I mean? We just uh, get a little bit extra out of it. So Attack, we don't go with something like three milliseconds or something really, really fast. Release, we don't go something slow. We don't really want it released too fast. And then makeup gain, we probably don't go about five. Um, and the line, we say we want about 10 almost, you know, dB of compression. You know what I mean? So that's exactly what we are getting. So let's just increase the threshold. Turn on analog. All right, so now, if we listen to it without it, you know what I mean? It's just a light signal. Even though it did sound thick, now that I hear it even thicker, now you notice it's still a thin signal. So it just turn that on, but we're not going to use it full 100 without blend the signal. You understand? So we'll just slowly blend it going up. So let's do that. And then take a listen. Cool. 
So I'll drive it a little bit more. Cool. Once we get a signal I would like, like I said, my light going into my master bus at probably about minus six, minus five. So we'd all take the drums and we'd all take the drum slam and we'd all reduce the volume. Actually, we'd all just reduce the volume for the drums because that had the main track where they feed everything. So I'll turn down that the volume there. Let's put this thing up on auto. So let's go. Plus, let's go. All right, so there are the auto. All right, cool. Let's turn this off. Come back down. All right, let's move into the snares. Let's come here. Let's turn this down a little bit more. Actually, I'm mean, so I'll turn on both of them. Let's just do that. Fuck it. Let's turn on that. Let me say, I want it about minus 6 dB. Then we'll bring in the snare. It's and solar, all of the drums, elements of them thing up here. So, everything. All right, cool. All right. All right, let's run the snare into this. All right. So, because the snare is mono, we don't treat it mono the same way. So, waves, we've got SSL, EQ. Um, I have a preset I'm like use. Let me always say, feel free to copy down the, the settings. Not a problem. I'll leave it on the screen. Load snare presence. Boom. So we take this dull snare and turn it into something bright and energetic. I mean, bring some life to it. So with the kick now. Let's turn off all of the other percussion. <laughs> all right, so let's turn off all. Everything will agree. Let's just drop the volume. Now, I'm except for the kicks. Um, let's bring on this. All right, so we have the kicks. Let's bring up the snare. Want it on an even playing field, kind of on the same level. But remember, we can't really go too hard with it because we have other snares the same way, you know? So. A good level, that's a good level right there, so. All right, let's increase the second snare. All right, so the second snare have some moving parts to it, you understand? It have some like in between and all them type of stuff there, so. What we do do is the same type of EQing, same exact preset that we just might tweak it for fit this as snare, if it's necessary. If it's not, then we don't just load it. Once again, like I said, we don't load up the same preset, custom preset, but I love it. Um, put it right there, so I'll keep it on the screen. And, you know what I mean? Before, you know what I mean? Not saying that the worst thing because we pick it, but we just know so we can enhance it. Especially just bring out some of the top end in it, you know and I mean? That's why I like with this preset, it have a lot of boost in the top end, but it really have got for a boost in the top end. So, and so everything, you know what I mean? All right, so at the end of some of the snares, then I kind of can I hear a little bit of something I'm going to want to hear. Right, so, so what I'm going to do is we'll all trim the out, we'll all trim it completely, and I'll switch this from that to generic. Perfect, you just get rid of it. Then for the hi hats, like I said, just keeping it low and just out of the way sometimes is just the best thing feet. So I'll just do a simple EQ, roll off all the low end and left the, um, the high end and get a little boost. Now, I mean, even though we don't do nothing to it, and I mean, it still stand out, it still have a presence, you understand what I'm saying? So that's exactly how we do treat it. So I'll just roll off at the high end. Give it up in a boost. Let's make these sharp. Give it up in a boost. Another thing what we don't do is we don't make this thing mono. 
So right down the center, how I do do is add reverb to it. As a matter of fact, it's something I'm never do. So let's send the snare. So let's send this other snare to the snare thing too. And then have another one. The one in our play it. All right, so let's send this up. <laughs> that I want to go for my um, gear, my phone. You know what I'm going over there. <laughs> All right, so let me say, we don't get the eye at some reverb. Generous amount. You know what I mean? Perfect. Love that. All right, let's bring in this next snare now. I can hear once the one a snare come in, I can really hear say it come with a vengeance. You understand? By itself, it no sound like shit, but with the other one, them it sound real good. But one more cloud, this thing I keep on a mute for. But you know what I mean? That are the other two by itself are the process. Then when you add in the other one now, you know what is we get a load, we get a, a smack. Get a real good smack out of it, you understand? What I do is kind of enhance the flavor of this. I do slap a, um, a Y1 name on it, the API 2500 mono on the bus, and then we do tweak it for fit. We want to get about 3 dB of compression, nothing heavy. What I do with this snare is I'm not going to EQ it because it sounds good by itself. I mean, I'm not going to um, put the preset on it, but it sounds good by itself. We just do an EQ and roll off, roll off some of the, um, the low end. We're not going to touch the top end. We're going to just um, roll off the low and put a little bit of a body, probably around 1200 to like um, 4K, something like that. A little bit of a, you know what I mean? Like a little bit of a smack. Right in there, so something wide. You understand? Well, bring down them here, so when I bring up everything else, just a little bit of a jump right in there. So something a little quick, you know what I mean? Um, and we'll have that. Like I said, we have it. I got to the compressor, so with the other two snare, we're supposed to get. That I by itself. That I with the other two. So we are look for about 2 dB of compression, 3 dB of compression. So let's increase the threshold. Put the knee to hard tone, we want a, a normal tone feedback. So the good thing about the API is that it our automatic makeup gate. So any type of compression I will get the gain, the compressor automatically will put it back in. I mean, so when I really have to do it, play around and I try to figure out how much um gain reduction we are get and how much we put back and all of them things there. So let's put this back. Let's put the release to the fastest one. We don't want nothing slow about it. You know what I mean? Soon as the compressor wants it, let it go. Cause we want it match the energy where the kick I give off. But you know, say a snare drive dance all music. A good kick is nothing without a real good snare. You understand? Perfect. So now we can start work on some of the percussion and the melodics. So because them two things are the same thing, we don't forget about them. Let's increase the volume on both of them. We'll send them to the percussion boss here. So then we'll also link both of them to the reverb over here. So because like me said, we want them as big as possible. So we don't link both of them to the reverb. They'll increase this to about 50%, 60% right now. Copy the value and paste it just to make sure so them have the same level of reverb. You understand? So let's paste that. Yeah, so. Now I mean, so if we listen to them by themselves, that's without the reverb on it. And then the reverb just add that extra bit of depth and just get a, a much bigger feeling than what to do by itself. Then pun. Love it, love it, love it, love it. 
Lastly, we have the money machine, but we're not gonna add the money machine and the chant till we add the melody because them they think they are compliments to the melody. So it make no sense to mix them before you mix the melody. So first melody was the DX7. So let's bring that in. And then see so the good thing about what I'm gonna do is if you ever feel like the track too loud. All after that, just highlight everything and lower the volume. You know what I mean? Remember, I said this is the main melody. So I want to treat this different for, for that very reason. We don't treat it different. So EQ, we'll use the fab filter this time. I will do some surgical EQ. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar, be of yourself, brother. You must say, I'm Jamaica, come from it and I. I read it easy now, big of yourself. <laughs> what a wicked. All right, so for this, we have got 48 dB per octave. For who don't know what that means. So you see the slope? That means uh, every octave. You chop off 48 dB. That's how steep. You know what I mean? I say? So if we did have, let's say we have this line. You know what I mean? Let's say this was an octave. So that means say from this line to this line, you lose 48 dB of sound. You understand? So that means say from here, so we did our 96. You understand? And so on and so on and so on. So that just means how steep the curve. So if I ever hear a so man, they say, yo, me have this set up and yeah, man, just take off about make the slope like 6 dB per octave. That just means that they want a pretty open slope. You understand? 6 dB per octave is pretty much that. You understand? So if a man say, yeah, man, make it 96 dB per octave, brother, you will get that. You will get something really sharp. You know what I mean? Just either you're going to be a, a clean slope or a sharp slope, simply. Numbers really a lot of time, it confuse the thing. If somebody say brick wall, that means exactly what a brick wall is. A brick wall, you understand? I just straight cut off. It's no smoothness to it at all. So I really make the, 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 the numbers really confuse, you understand? It's just, just fucking terms. And the more you do the music, the more you learn. Them, them things then kind of become second nature after a while, you understand? So I'll we'll play this, um, find a frequency or find some frequency what we don't like and then cut them out. We're not going to do too much to it though. So we have to preserve some of the low end because that's a part of the character of the sound, you understand? But we can take out a little bit of the top end though. You know I mean, even that sound good, you understand? Cool. See, on second top, I'm not really go surgical because now that I kind of get a chance to look on the way from and I listen to it, I don't really hear nothing resonant or really way like fuck with your ears or nothing like that. So it's no need. It's not necessary. You understand? So what I'm going to do for enhance the sound is I'm add a reverb to it and I'm going to add a big reverb to it. Um, big not meaning the VST or the name, but the, the size of the reverb. All right, so there's this preset I'm like inside of here. It's called 6K Big Vocal Plate. Um, so if I send this synth or the plug over here, so to, we need a fucking channel for send it to, you know. So let's send it to this track. Let's no, let's send it to this track. So let's right click send to this track only. Um, let's drag this track, you know. Yeah. So we need to change the name in a second. So let me do that right now. So rename this and go plugs. Boom. Then let's send the signal itself to the reverb. And then we can turn off the dry signal here. You know what I mean? So this is just the reverb by itself. So it don't really sound all that great. But with the sound in front of it, it sounds fucking wonderful. But we're not going to use that much of it, though. You know what I mean? Just show what I do. So let's bring this back to about 20%. And then with everything else. All 
right, cool. Now I'm going to go too crazy because that's just one part of the melody. We have other sounds to blend with it, namely the sound from Dune. So let's add that and let's start mixing that into the track. All right, so cool. All we don't do with this sound is we don't take out most of the bass, you know what I mean? We'll use a regular EQ for that. Um, so we'll right click the master filter. I will take out most of the bass, come up to about 88. We don't keep it like that. Wonderful. We don't got waves. Plug enough choice for this is the S. Wow, my fucking God. Waves again. Let me say plug enough choice is the S1 imager. Um, what we don't do is just double click on that and go 1.356. Boom. Play it. White do. Get the character, you know this. I mean, it get the sound, a edge. It get the sound, a, a, a body, a spread it. You know, what I mean, push it more to the outer part of the rhythm as opposed to keeping it in at the center. And that's exactly what we want because we have the snare, the kick, vocals, and all them thing in at the center. Everything else is just have a push out to the side. So if we solo it out, yeah, we have that. Not nothing spectacular. We had the reverb to it though, the big reverb to it. Actually, let's add the small reverb first. So if we solo this out. That's the small reverb, right? This is the large reverb. Non spectacular, of course, by itself, but. So the thing what we don't like about that is there's a, a smack, like a, a pretty lee, you understand? So we'll just put that to zero. Hold the fuck on. Yep, there's a problem. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so this one will be better off with the the slower, um, smaller reverb as opposed to the big one because there's a sound that the big reverb I pick up. What men are really of time if you go in at the VST and edit the sound for kind of make it get rid of it and better just move on. I really not hear it right now, so it's kind of cool, but I not really have the time to go in and fuck around with that. Without turning it down though, because remember this is the main melody over here side, the first track, so without put make sure that underneath, you understand? And then me I hear a sound I'm gonna like. What the fuck? We're getting near, we're getting near, we're getting near. Let's add the up. Let me say with the ops, we want them for the. Hold on, what the fuck? Anna, Anna, Anna. Oh, what the fuck, dog? Dilly, I got the chips on. Okay, cool. Bro, what the fuck, dog? Why else me did have this fucking thing upon the, upon the lead? Me did have it. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck we did. Oh, shit. I need to flip them to a channel. So let's put this here. So I'm put Anna a 17. I'm going to just rename them, change the name. I'm yeah, on the two sound end up in the wrong spot. So I'll just change the name, highlight them, and link them individual today. Highlight everything, actually, and then link them back to the mixer again. Same way, and that's supposed to fix the problem. Control Shift L. All right. So now we're supposed to have this. I have no links to not know where so. Oh uh -huh, boy. Cross is probably not. Oh, go on. All right. So let's wrote Anna 
to this great track. Turn it on now. Where is the blood clot? What do you think now I'm playing on the bumble clot, dog? Yeah, because I remember I did push it out to the white um to the to the wider parts of the track because of it. I look for the, the one sound. So let's change this to ops and then put it back. Yeah, so we're not gonna really do too much to it because we already have it all wanted. You know, I'm mean? saying we don't just EQ it after it come out of the, the delay. Um if we kind of just shave off some of the bass so when I have no no fears issues, no clashing issues with the frequencies. So to start at the bass line to this. I want to make sure say this dominant door. You know what I'm mean? saying? I like myself, I want to make sure say we have it wide as possible. And with a little bit of reverb upon it from both of them. You know what I mean? Not a lot. What are the small things that count? I will blend it, so I will bring it down right beneath the main melody and right in between the the the, the second um, main melody um, pattern. But want it notice you understand? Then what we can do even more if we kind of exaggerate the, the sound where we are going for. Like I said, I really want it too much in the center. Waves of a VST, ironically, by the name Center. So we <laughs> um, don't load that. And it literally is just a stereo plugin. What I do is use this and take out 10.5 dB out of the center of the sound. So if we can, like we can take out the whole middle of the sound if we want. You understand? But we don't want to do that. We just want to make sure it's most of the, the middle gun. So we have 10.5. And then with the track. Without it. You know what I mean? Sound more central, sound more bassy. We don't really want that. We just want it to sit down left and right more and load the center alone. You understand? That leaves three things right now, or four things. You left couple lead and the money machine. So with the money machine, what I'm going to do is make sure so that kind of more central. We're going to do that with this a little knobby right or so. We're going to push it a little more central. We're going to EQ it as well. We're going to get all of the bass. Because we want all of the high frequency them to kind of shine. So for that very reason, we're going to EQ it differently. You understand? We're going to EQ it with some analog, something with some character. So the main reason why I love this EQ is the fact that it have everything kind of all in one, right? So let's focus on the money machine. So let me click on it so I have to play it for here, right? So now if I just press a button, we have it, right? So like I said, we want to focus on it and, and kind of tweak it to our liking. So first, engage the high pass and the low pass. Let's 18, the high pass is already kind of good way right there. We don't lower pass it up to about 100, so about right there, so. Already I clean it up. Then we don't cue this. So this cue thing here, solo out a specific frequency so we can hear what go on in the frequency. So if we listen, you understand? So that are just some rumble what we don't really want. So what we don't do is we don't turn it on, I we don't take out about 3, 4 dB out of it. Boom. Get rid of all of the bass. So on the top end now, we don't cue it up again, listen to it now. So we have... That a six, that a, that a, that a 12k, right? That's all right. So we'll go 16k. Now I mean, so we'll just go in at the middle, turn it on, boost about halfway. Now I mean, get like a good look of boost to it. Cue it up again at the middle. This time we don't use a high Q, high Q, show it visually. This is a high Q. That means that the, the, the curve, that's all it is. That's a high Q, you know what I mean? So we'll use something like that. Let's cue it or let's play it. That are the frequency where we are listening to. That's about 4K. That's 7K. So let's 
So I'm like 7 k sound. So let's turn off Q. Boost this again. You understand? If we turn it off. On. Much more clean. Much more brighter. And I mean, really, really like that. That's exactly what I'm going for. Let's increase the cutoff even more to up about to 120. And if you play it with iridium, without even touching the volume from where it's there. You understand? But if you get it bigger than what it is, more than just raising the volume, me do send it to the verbs, or send it to the big one more so. You know what I mean? If you get a, a real body to it, you understand? Cool. Let's increase the beep, send it to the same effects channel. I want to make sure to say a lot, a lot of reverb upon the beep, seriously, a lot. Turn it up. Let's go back in here, so let's go stock plugins, let's go sound field, stereo shape, and right click up at the top, click bit delay. this a little bit and kind of send that up perfect increase the volume Bring in the truck guard now. Let's unsole that. All right, so what I'm going to do is copy the main melody, paste it in there. So. Cool. Then what I'm gonna do send this to sound ties, sound feel, pun man. But before we are going to high and low pass the signal, I think we can do it in a yasa too. You know? Let's go tweak. Should have a high and low pass filter, don't it? No, it don't. So let's go stock EQ and right click. Master low and high filter. I will filter out all of the bass because we don't need it. Then I mean, we'll switch the preset to dynamic, rhythmic, and then four per side. This is what I sound like. I mean, set a flip back and forth. That's exactly what we are going for. So I don't need for the now. Link it to this ops track over here, so and send it to the reverb them. Now, I mean, and then blend it to the rhythm. All right, so forget it for stay one consistent level because I don't know if you can hear it, but me can hear it. The current level where that come out is perfectly fine as well. So it's not a problem with it. We just want it to stay at that consistent level. We don't want it to go past the level there. 
we just slap a limiter right at the end of it. So let's just monitor it on the meter and then aim for that same level. Perfect. All right, then we have the bass line now. So let's take that, rotate that to the bass completely. And let's go ahead and EQ and anything I might want to do it. So first, let's make this mono. Let's add some reverb to it. Yes, we add a reverb to the bass. Never given me any issues before. Perfect. Let's go up on the bass track, load the fab filter pro C for the side chaining. So the kick really gonna start punch now because to have the bass behind it, you really don't get like a extra drive, you understand? Um upon this underneath that would we'll load the sound ties decapitator. Actually we'll load the dev lock. And what we do do with that is add some more fatness to the bass. You understand? Now we can crush the signal, but it's not necessary. We just want to add some fatness. So if you play it, you understand? We can crush it. We don't try to do that. We can crunch it. We don't try to do that either. We can darken it up. Notice I get in. We don't, try, we don't really try to do that. You know what I mean? I try to blend it. You understand? So let's go. 2% or 20% upon the darkness. 1% upon the crush. I mean, upon the crunch. Then we got 30% almost upon the crush. Upon the mix now, we don't scale it back till we get a good level where we like. You understand? Let's turn it to zero. So that was it before. You know what I mean? Let's increase the darkness. And then increase the mix. All right, cool. No, oh, with everything else. So what I'm also going to do is decrease the side chain level to 10. So I want to really have the side chain and take out that big chunk out of the bass, you understand? So uh, let's put this to 7.3. We just want it drop for that initial smack there. And that should be everything but the chant and the lead them. So we'll put this back in and like I say, it's uh, more of an effect than a, a real chant. So we'll treat it like that. So loads of reverb, I mean loads of reverb and a little bit of EQ in to get rid of any of the low end what we don't want. You understand? I can hear it, you know what I mean? But we want it very low. We want it something where you can hear but you have to go like, what the fuck is that? And I mean, more like you ask question more than just I hear it, I play. So 
So if we kind of achieve that a little bit more, let's go. What the fuck? Did this shit just say serum brass stub? What the fuck? Stock plugin, let's go. Sound feel, let's go steer shaper. Um, could I use the S1 feet, but I don't really feel like do that. So let's go. Delay. Um, let's get that sound and tweak the delay till we get it how we want it. Yep, hit that. Yep, that's it. Perfect. So lastly, we have the two leads. So we have the first one up at the top. Let's just fast, fast forward, go over the end. Um, halfway through, anyway. Um, let's go back. I love this lead. Cool. So I forget that for dominant. We want to hear that. You know what I mean? That affi stand out when I'm buried. So we don't send that to Yasser Road to this track only. Upon this track, we don't add a specific VST from Waves. It's called the. It's called the Shep's Parallel Particles Stereo version. We don't use the stereo version. The um, reason why I use it, it have a specific feature or function, and it's called ear. It it's probably upon ten VST one minute, or probably less than that. Right up at the top, you say it add like a crystal clear top end. We just you know find it nowhere else for a lot of VST. You understand it's called ear. Um, so we don't use that if we kind of blend it. So we don't get rid of some of the BS. Just choose some EQ in some. General EQ, you know, I mean, literally just rolling on the low end up to about 130, something like that. You know, what I mean, but we don't use this ear thing and kind of really make it stand out. You know, what I mean, I say, you know, what I mean, which I can hear it right now. Cool, no problem. So let's go 13. Cool, let's add some bites. So we'll go 15. I mean, notice it starts stand out even more like it start grow. You know what I mean? So let's go back to the ear and we'll bring that to 60. And I feel like that's a good level right there. So let's bring down the volume level itself. Add some reverb to it if you kind of make it bigger. Get a bigger feeling, of course. Perfect. Now, lastly, we have the other lead which will kind of all give the same kind of treatment. We already treat it a little bit, so all we need to do now is just run it into the synth leads over here, so and we're good. So one thing I'm here, I want to change about this lead. Um, the delay, I want it a little bit faster. So when it play, turn, turn, or turn, turn, I want it delay right in between this, all right? So that's exactly what we do. So let's go like this. Let's go. Let's go all the way back to the start of the chat. You know what I mean? Like the delay a little bit. So I'll go quarter note instead on one side and we'll all keep the eight note on the other side. Then we'll increase the feedback a little bit. We'll change the delay from tube to analog. Cool. Back in the track now, it's supposed to have a really good sound in delay. But you barely hear it, which is perfectly fine. You understand? So we don't need all of that. Everything's supposed to route into these green tracks over here. So, so if we mute this, we're not supposed to hear nothing but reverb. So all that I tell me is that certain things not link up yet, and we need to kind of get that done. So let's go one, two, three, four. All right. Okay. 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 Boom. Boom. Hmm. Alright, that, that, that. Okay, so what the fuck? What the issue? You mean if you tell me see how the reverb alone that? 
Yeah, man, something not going on. I'm going to link something to the mixer or something. What the fuck, man? I mean, somebody make me know, okay? I feel like I eat that right now. That of a mixer truck. That of a mixer. That of one. That of one. That of one. That of one. Everything of a mixer track. And why the fuck? What the hell, man? Feel stupid right now. There's no way I'm supposed to hear. All of them sounds there. And every sound of a, a mixer track. There's something going on that don't make no sense to me. Like once you mute this, like everything's supposed to drop out, you understand? Um yeah, introvert, it 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 it's pretty much kind of the same thing. Melodyne's still better, but the way of tune is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not gonna knock it. It's a it's a good VST, bro. But why the fuck? Why the bomb clot are going dark? Oh, that's why. Fucking dumbass nigga, I'm gonna forget to link the tracks they wanna create to the fucking thing, dog. Dumbass nigga. Alright, so if we unsold everything, we're not supposed to hear nothing but reverb. Yep, that's it. Yep, exactly. So let's go into the master bus. Right. So we have. Let's clear off all of the VST so we can focus on what we are doing, right? Let's put this thing inside the bottom of the screen. Get rid of all of the waves, thing them off of the screen. Boom. Boom. Da da da. Dot. Dot and that. Alright, cool. So that's how we really crank and get loud. So my voice I can get loud, the rhythm I can get loud. So let's bring up my master and chain. All right, let me engage the EQ. So firstly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll off, roll off, and roll off, roll off everything down at the low end. Anything underneath 30, I get cut off, you understand? So just notice how the bass kind of get fatter. Oh, shit. You understand? Bass get a little bit tighter, a little bit fatter. So out of the EQ into a compressor, we want about 2 dB of compression. Just notice how everything start just get fat. You know what I mean? Bass get thick and all of them thing there. And then out of that, we are going to a tape machine, right? So what I'm going to do is reset this first and then I'll load a preset and you're going to notice the difference or so it just open up everything while going. So notice in, a, it's, in a, the default state, what I do, it, it um, kind of uh, saturate everything right now, but we'll open up everything. So just pre this. You understand? Just listen to all everything. Listen to all everything. Just widen up and get big, clean and clear like it just blow a breath of fresh air in it. I 
All right. What I'm going to do is because the Echo Boy, so let's run Pan Man Pan this. The, 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 the square lead, the, like, the little plucky thing. I don't like how it just sit down in the middle. I want it to move around. You know? So um, that's exactly what I'm going to do with it. So I'll just make this maximum, put this smooth, smooth into soft, and we'll turn on the rate, make it a little bit slow. You know what I mean? So now we have this. So we have some movement to the sound, right? You understand? And that are just three out of the five things I would all use. Next up, we have the L2. The reason why I don't use the L2 is we don't bring it up to volume level or to close to mastering level, like close to zero with the L2. As I can see, the level is minus 0.2. So when we crank this, you don't hear a massive jump in the volume. You know what I mean? But we don't adjust that. Underneath that, we have the, the clipper, which this is really if you solidify the status and solidify everything what we are do. So we'll make this big so we can see what I go on when we start use it. So when we turn on the L2, just notice, get ready for a massive jump in the volume. You understand? You understand? All right, so it's an even my fucking voice get louder. Apologize for that. Um, so pretty much, like me say, with the the levels going up that much, the L two me not really want want it do everything. Let me turn on my voice. You understand? Let me turn it down. So I don't really want the L2 to do everything, you understand? I don't want it just to do all of the work. I want it to do some of the work, you understand? So we use it to get majority of the volume. Then we use this clipper to finish it up, polish it off, and get the rest of the volume, you understand? So it have a bypass button, so I can turn it off and get the mixer off of the screen. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's get this um, mixer off. Let's bring back the... the, the the thing here so we can see what I go on, right? So notice the L2 push it to zero. I mean, that's why it light up green. But notice now with this, we still get a little bit of reduction because I cut L2 um, a minus 0 0.2 and then we still pull out a little bit more out tight, you understand? So that's exactly what we are do with this via VST here. So and due to the nature of the rhythm, you can see the slope or this curve and this sharp Pretty much that's just if me, me not sure exactly what that what that mean. So if my load let's go into my downloads folder. Actually, I'm going to my downloads off of the screen before me get a lawsuit. <laughs> so if we load up um Alkaline Song City, right? You know what I mean? You see how the edges kind of just flat and uniform. And them not really, them not flat. Them not look like just straight up waveform, them round. That is, if me want that, I would have pushed this, this away, you understand? Me don't want that. I want the edge them hard. I want some hard clipping. I want it chop off the edge. Like if you set a line, like let's say this are the line right up at the top here. So, and you say anything will go past it and come up here so get cut off. So everything would have a straight edge, you understand? That are the type of saturation I want. I don't really want it too sharp, so I'm not going to do nothing but or, or pull back a little bit so it still have a little, little bit of curve to it. But I don't really want it too curvy. And then you And like I said, we we'll don't pull out the last little extra bit of energy out of it right now once we flip the switch. Notice how the body and everything just come up.
You understand? Cool. So now let's load up, copy up, and then let's put this thing here together proper way. Yes, let's go here. Let's rename this pattern now. Huh? All right, so the only thing I'm gonna never mix into the track was my producer tag. That's perfectly fine. We can add that. that. No, um, I don't mute the master channel because my producer tag is very, very fucking loud. Um, so we don't mute this while I'm drag it in, so I'm gonna hear it. All right, cool. So let's come back. Let's come here. Turn off all of this frying wire here. So let's select this. Let's link it to the mixer. Control Shift L. Right click, go file and produce a tag. All right, so we load up a chain. Which, what that do is you take my producer tag from sounding like this. Shift that. It's bees. You understand? You take it from sounding like that to this. It's bees, the track star. You know what I mean? Then it's when we add all of the verbiage and the reverbs, you understand? We don't get uh, much better, much. It's bees, the track star. Much pleasant, you know what I mean? Much more pleasant sound, you understand? So, let's start putting this blood clarity matter together. Uh, shit, we put that in the wrong place. So, I'll just link this up at the top here. So, lock to content. Let's auto name that track here. Boom. Let's um, drop this here. So, yes, so, yes, so, yes, so, yes, so, yes, so. And so on and so on and so on and so on. You know that? Bumble clot, I eat in tracking at this already, man. Swear I did less, you know. Swear I did blood clot less. Let's shorten this up so we know what we are dealing with. And let's shorten this all the way up to the last one. We only use one anyway. Bring this across to 21. The tempo is a hundred, so that means that the verse or the chorus does start at the ninth bar. So if I put verse, I'll we'll start with it. What well, I we'll start with the verse? I'll we'll start with the verse. All right, click add mark. I will go verse first, um, and then we'll just start doing the thing. So like that. Bumba clap, big head girl. Shut up, my man. I'll do that here, so right. So let's increase our volume again. Now you can chat post so all. right. So we'll put this here so as a transition. Um we'll put it every second bar as a matter of fact. As a transition. You understand? Just shorten it up because we only use one piece of it. Um we don't bring in the you know, the second part of the build up. Um the kick we don't bring in as the chorus start sneers and everything we can kind of bring in a little bit earlier um and bring in dune a little bit after the track start Understand? And then make the bass and everything come in full fledged once everything, you know what I mean, a rock laugh proper way. We we'll do a lot of like a chops and all them things there once the verse start. But for right now, let's bring in the money machine upon the second part of here. So um, they would we'll bring it in upon the second part again. So we have like very specific uses for a lot of the instruments or sounds you understand um let's get this here highlight that bring that back here so just to kind of make sure so things don't look sloppy you understand if you're not long if you're not use the whole thing you don't really need to have the whole thing you understand 
But like I said, when they don't change up the bass, right? So they'll insert a new track. We don't drop the bass line down upon you. So we we'll right click. We don't make that one a unique. We don't change the color to fucking lime green of all colors. And then once you change color because FL Studio fucking retarded, we don't go in and change up how the bass line and flow. You understand? So that we don't left. We don't go in and change the first one. So I would all do. We don't lend them a notes here. We don't make this right here. So continuous. So we have it. We have a one a more uniform, more simply understand. We're not gonna really change it up too much. You know what I mean? Um, and then we listen to it, see it sound, and if we don't like it, then we can always change it. It's not a problem. Let's lock the content that one here. Yeah. Let's play this with the drums and everything and see what we have right now. All right, so right, that's all. So we'll change this to a double quick turn 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 uh 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 you know what I mean? Um so so right that's all right that's right that's all uh uh or lower this or oh, actually triple it and then we'll actually move this or lint this out. Or lint this, and we don't make sure so we only have two for that one. Hold on. Stretch that out, and we should have something pretty good. Actually, we don't put this all the way across, so we don't keep this for the first four. Let's copy BB. Oh, shit. Hopefully, that's the only thing we'll get copy. You know that. Uh, all right, I guess. So we don't keep it, right? Right, that's all. <laughs> yes, I will start get crazy with it. <laughs> more on the snare roll chop, right? So more on it. Right, that's all. You know what I mean? So forget that we achieve that. We need the knife F3 on the keyboard. Bring it up. Yes. So right, that's how it start. We don't load the first one there, you know, but we don't bring cross. The other one, them right? So let's chop it. We need it small. So we get rid of all of that. Get rid of all of this too. Let's get the paintbrush, you know. Highlight this. Bring this cross, right? Let's take out this two right here, so. Shorten that up. Let's bring this here, so. And here, so. So we need two, right? So how we do that, we just uh, zoom in all the way. We do shorten this up so till it feel like a half. If you come across and you're not get a full thing, you know what I mean? Like if you're not full up the thing, that means you never cut it off. You say just highlight everything and stretch it across one. So now we have it fully. You know what I mean? But we don't want it like that. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want none of the bass in it. You understand? We want this empty right there. So, so we really hear the sneer. I do his thing. We don't take out the kick, take out the hi hat, take out the rest of the. No, we don't left the bass. So I take out this ado. So I take out all of the percussion and left the plucks.
Right, yeah, so what I'm going to do is an automation transition. Um, so to highlight this, we do go back to the mix. I would right click on the snare, create automation clip, right? So right when we want the effect happen, what I'm going to do is we will copy the first point, so zoom in all the way, we will pierce it. So we have 80 still, lower this. We will come back, right? We spot it done. So the last one play right here, so. So we will come back here, so. Paste it again. So what we are doing is we are make sure, say, we have the same volume when we come back out of the plugin. You understand? We don't want the volume change at all. We just want it change for which part with it. So we only automate which part with it. So once it come here, so it drop, come back up. Once it get here, so it back to level. And once it done, it stay at the level where it's supposed to stay. So if we... If we do it right, then we're supposed to let me insert a track and like put my automation on a separate track nowadays. So me know exactly what I look for when we start on tick down. So just right click, change the color. If we do it right, we're supposed to now we don't want it lime green. Let's change the color again. Let's go purple. So if we do it right, we're supposed to have this. Let's go back a little bit. Or the bumper cloth. I the kick a play, dog. I want the kick, dog. I the bomb buckler around with a full, full kick, yeah, man. Suck your mother, man. Let's take out all of this. Understand so cool. So that's the second part of the second part of the verse. All right, so for the part right before the, the chorus come in. We do do some more choppings. We do really make it dry. You understand? So we do chop out all of these. So we don't really get too much of the carryover effect. What we do is chop off all of this. So let's chop off this too. You know what I'm saying? So we do chop off all of this. Let's get rid of all of that. Let's get rid of um, all of that and that. Understand, and yes, I we were bringing everything. You hear the chant for the first time, you know. What I mean, we kind of build it, you know. What I mean, we make it bigger, we make it more of an event coming out of the chorus, which we're not even sure how we all do that. So, we have one, two, three, four. Um, this one. All right, so we have to double it. So upon the second part, when we are go around, what we do do is we do take out everything. So we we'll take out this, we we'll take out the, um, we we'll left the beep. We do take that or we'll get rid of everything else. And I mean, we we'll, we'll left the beep. We we'll just left a little bit of a gap. We we'll do left the lead too. A little bit of a gap for the money machine and the. Then for the second time around, we don't take out the, the beep, but we don't take out everything else as well and left it for the chant. Yeah. 
know what I mean? And left it with the beep. Um, we don't really want the chant. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You can stay, you can stay, you can stay. I'm not think too much right now. All right, so that's first verse, second verse. I mean, first verse, first chorus. So into the second verse, we go, name that verse. Um, we do kind of travel with everything from the first verse, but we don't change up certain things. You understand? With the first, we don't change up the drop um, at the front. So what we don't do is just, let's highlight this and let's start working. Firstly, let's increase my tag. Need to look a bit louder than that. What the fuck going on with this thing now, man? Get the fuck out of here. So let's increase that. Look a bit louder. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is pretty much like what I'm gonna do with the the second part of the, the verse thing, that's right? So I'm gonna do play around with them or do, do some like a stutters and some like a chops and all them like a fancy like a kinky thing you know what I mean so we need to cut off everything after this so let's go like this right so now what we do is take this whole section we don't bring it across here so you know what I mean what we can do is now come across halfway and we can chop these, right? So we can do like some offbeat third steps. And I mean, R, what we can do, we can switch this to third step for real. And then we can start doing like some, like what we're going to do with a sneer. You understand? So we can do that, that. And then you can do it all the way through until we get back across here. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? So, let's see what that's on. Like. But, of course, knowing me, I'll do it a lot faster than that. So, let's exactly do exactly that. So, let's take that, that. You know what I mean? And slow it down. too slow. Let's come across one. Let's bring this across one. To three, four, let's... Uh, this is off. Let's take out that. That's why. Let's bring this across here. Oh shit. And then that here. You no, know, I kind of know it's kind of go in between, take out all of them if we want, if it's sound good. So I'll uh, play it back for the chorus. Perfect. Let's switch this back to line. Let's control Z and then bring this to the second part here. So.
Understand? So that's cool. Let's copy the whole chorus across. Let's fit at the end. And then let's copy the whole verse across. Put it at the end. Don't need to make no changes to either one. That's the full rhythm mix. I mean, arrange, mix, master, whatever you want. God, it's another Let's go outro and play it from the top. Let's go back out. We have, let's, oh, damn, matter of fact, I never bought more class here. The oh my god, <laughs> all right. What am I gonna call this? Hmm. Uh, I don't know what the fuck to call it. I don't know, yeah, man. I'll just call it 100 for right now. And save it. And that should be that. Let's bring this up as so a lock it to content. Boom. That's that. Let's go and change all the clips. Look behind. Let's go behind clips and go sell perfect and then play it true save
All right, peeps. So, my run through a couple more time and then more any live stream one day for two and a half hour. Yes, so my run through a couple more time. Um, full video though, they post on my channel. Uh, on my channel. <laughs> well, I never can talk. You know what I mean? Big up to everybody who I watch. Big up to everybody who I come through and watch. So, until next time, it's your boy SB, it's the track star. Peace. Somebody put a name in that bum buckler comment section, dog. I mean, I don't know if you call that thing, dog. I swear.